Islam. Before we get started with this lesson, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem Akakudash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom to all the Akim and his truth and sincerity. And we just want to do this lesson, all right, going into how water should be free, all right, and how we should be able to eat clean food, yeah. all right, and that's something that, that you Israelites, you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that's something you should be mad about, all right, the fact that we can't even drink clean, free water, all right, the fact that they, they have to bottle up water, all right, and, th and that, that's poison, all right, plastic, all right, but you, you can go ahead and get that, Bishop. Yep, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 4 and verse 11. Thou shalt drink also water by measure, the sixth part of a hand, from time to time shalt thou drink. Right, and right now, since we're in the land of our captivity, we're drinking water by measure. All right, we can't just, uh, we can't even collect rainwater. All right, that's against the law. You can get arrested for collecting rainwater. So, as the scripture said, that's a prophecy. We're drinking uh, water by measure. All right. Do you have anything to add to that? Yep, this is uh, Ezekiel 16 and 27. Behold, therefore, I have stretched out my hand over thee and have diminished thine ordinary food. You so know, the Lord diminished the, oh, you had oh, to, you got it, bro. oh yeah, the, the Lord, he diminished our food. Because in the ancient world, we were eating herbs, we were eating like Mediterranean type food, yep. uh, non-GMO. Yep. All right, but now, we're, all we're eating is GMOs pretty much. Yep. All right, and America is the only country that allows GMOs. Yep. All right, no other country outside of, outside of America allows that. Yeah, yeah, and that shows does. you this is Babylon the Great. That's right, and the majority of the resources, natural resources, should be made readily available to, to, to people. Right. But it's been it's been bombarded and controlled by a greedy group of individuals and they ration it out. But the, the rations that we get is like the scraps. Right. They get the best of the best. And this it was the same thing that go on uh, that was going on in slavery, man. Okay, they gave Jake the scraps. So Monsanto came about, which was an organization that processes mass majority of the food that you eat, and it's scraps. All the good food, the good steaks and lamb, and all the good vegetation, they get it. Okay, they get first dibs on, on all the world resources. Everything else that we get is di being diminished. Okay, and that's why I said the ordinary food. Ordinary means just common everyday food that's yeah. just like, yeah. it's just like life. Mm -hmm. Now you look at it like it's like, a, it's a it's an actual bill. Right. It's a, it, it's a bill. Like, if you don't got no money, you're going to die. You're going to die of starvation. Yeah, that's true. And another thing, like, uh, like as you mentioned, as the scripture said, that ordinary food, you eat ordinary food and it kills you, like, slowly. Yep. It literally, it clogs the arteries, it, it, it raises your uh, blood pressure, or it makes you sick. So the Lord, he really diminished it, and that's a part of the, uh, the curse, all right? But the Lord, he's going to reverse that in the kingdom of heaven. All right, it's, it's going to be a flip, like the movie Trading Places. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. It says, And have diminished thine ordinary food, and delivered thee unto the will of them that hate thee. Right. Yep. And, and, and we're under the will of them that hate us. All right? That's a part of the curses because it said, uh, You shall go to your enemy for the one of all things. So right now we're under our enemies, which are the, the so-called uh, white race, which are known in the Bible as Esau, Edom. All right? And we're still in, yet this day in our captivity. That's right. All right? That, that was it? That was it, bro. I, I got a quick one. Uh, and you can, you can speak on it. Okay. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and 18. It says, For in much wisdom is much grief. Yep. And he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. Yeah, so when we came into this truth and we got away from eating McDonald's and Checkers and Burger King and all of that madness, and we realized that all of it was poison, and we realized the proper diet that we're supposed to eat, it really, it really pissed us off. It gave us grief, like, man, seriously? So we've been eating fucking this bull crap the whole time, but when we gained the knowledge of the truth and the Lord shared the light on, on our diet, it really put us in a position like, you know, this is effed up. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. this is effed up. So you mean to tell me we drinking dead water? We drinking water that got fluoride in it? We eating food that's, that, that, that's mixed in with, with human flesh? That's not all the way 100% beef, chicken? Is is, 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 is is combined with pork this creates grief this creates heartache you wonder why in this truth man you start to turn gray you know because you, you start to see everything for what it really is you know and what it really is is man this this world is polluted this world is totally polluted man 
everything is is is, 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 is has been broken down into rations. Okay, we're supposed to eat and be satisfied. You mm-hmm. eat and you 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 don't know if you're gonna wake up the next day. You gotta be careful what you're gonna eat nowadays, man. Cause you you might eat something you might think is clean, and then you next thing you know you get salmonella, food poison, okay, stomach turning. This is all the grief that we 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 receiving from, from we learn this wisdom about what's going on out here, man. And that's why Jake out here, that's why Jake ain't pissed. And they continue to love on this stuff because they don't have the knowledge of, or working knowledge of what they really do. Right, right. Yeah, and if I could add, add to what you just said, like something as simple as uh, peanut butter, like you look at the ingredients and it got uh, mono and deglycerized. When you look that up, that goes uh, to pork. That's like a, a byproduct of pork. And that's in peanut butter, like mm. something as simple as that. So we can't win in this society. And, uh, we can't end off with this one. Okay. Uh, Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. Yeah. All right, and as the bishop said, this place is, is polluted, man. All right, we can't win here, all right? We need the kingdom. We need Yahweh Shad to come back, all right, and give us those new bodies and give us the kingdom of heaven. We need that. That's right. Because if not, man, A, is, it would destroy us. So if we were, we were to be to stay here, yeah. all right, in this, this uh, God-forsaken country. Hey, the mm-hmm. scripture say if the Lord did not come back, no flesh would be saved. Okay. Come, yeah. come. Why? Because Esau is, we got to remember, we're dealing with a diabolical, suicidal, kamikaze demon. Yeah. yeah. This dude is on a kamikaze mission, man. This dude is on a self-destruction path, man. He's not only trying to kill off the Israelite, he want to kill himself. He yeah. wants to do away with the creation in general, even himself. Right. That's how crazy he is. That's how much he hates the Lord. The way he wants to get rid of the Lord's creation, including him, his own self. Esau don't want to be here. Esau just wants to prove to the Lord that he, he can kill off his creation. No. This dude is cynical. We got to get out of here. We, we in desperate need of being delivered, man. Okay. That was it. I didn't have no time. Uh, so, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Again, we want to end off by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Shalom.